Welcome to my channel, Cloudy Nook Crochet. My name is Lori. I would love to crochet up a storm with you. So please subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. My sky report today in California is blue sky with no clouds. What is your sky report where you live? In this episode, I will be sharing an acquisition from Rose Likes Crochet Etsy Shop and doing two Leather Company unboxings. In my episode three, I shared with you some stitch markers that I purchased from Rose Likes Crochet Etsy Shop. I was so impressed with her stitch markers, I had to order more. So let me show you what I got this time. She always includes a nice personal note. Lori, thank you so much for your order. And her business card. She includes a piece of candy. And from watching her channel on YouTube, I found out her favorite color is purple. And the, the stitch markers I got this time were sharks. So let me show you those. And I have a story why I had to order shark stitch markers. When my grandkids were born and right when they started to walk, I like to play games with them to use their imagination. So we came up with this game called Shark. So my older grandson, He's the great white shark, and then my younger grandson is the hammerhead shark. And the game that we came up with is they would get to run around the room, and I would take one of their blankets, and we would pretend that that was a net and that I was out there trying to catch sharks. So when they would run by me super fast, I would try and throw that blanket over them to catch them. And they absolutely loved that game. And every time I would come over, they would say, Nana, I want to play shark. Can we play shark? Well, the older they got, I had to tone it down a little bit because one time playing shark with them, I kind of hurt my back. And so my daughter's telling her sons, don't play too rough with Nana. We don't want to hurt Nana. So when I saw these uh, stitch markers, I had to get them to represent my two grandkids. And right now their ages are eight and five. So let me give you a closer look at the stitch markers. And the beads you see there are blue. And my plan with the stitch markers is I like to name my car. So my car right now is called the Shark Mobile. So my plan is to use one of the stitch markers to hang on my rear view mirror on a chain. And then the other stitch marker I will use as a official stitch marker for my crochet projects. So there you go, sharks. Now let's do a couple Leather Company unboxings. As you can see here, I have a big box and a little box. The big box is the Leather Company subscription box for the month of May that I will be unboxing. But let's do the little box first. Can you guys guess what's in this little box? Well, let's open it up and find out. Hey, if you have a guess what's in here by Leather Company, please leave your guesses in the comments section below. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay. I gotta get all this tissue open. And there we go. Hey, I ordered more stitch markers. And this time, I noticed with Leather Company, they had cloud stitch markers. 
And with my name being called Claudina Crochet, I had to get them. So let me unclip it here so I could give you a better look at them. And, and I ordered three of them. So we have a cloud, a cloud with a rainbow, and then a thunderhead. I really like the thunderhead with the lightning bolt. I thought that was pretty clever. So you can order stitch markers through their website. And they had a bunch of other kind of stitch markers. But again, when I saw the clouds, I had to get them. So I wanted to share those stitch markers with you. Before we do the unboxing for May, I wanted to share with you the designation square that I'm working on for the month of April when we traveled to Japan. Lether Company is doing a crochet along for 2021. And every month they put a pattern out for a square. So at the end of the year, you'll be sewing all those squares together to make an afghan. And on this one, I wanted to share with you a really quick tutorial on how to do the triple crisscross stitch. So let me show you how to do that. So you're gonna do a triple crochet. You're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and then that third stitch is where you're going to do your triple crochet. So triple crochet, chain one, and now you're going to do another triple crochet in the first stitch that you skipped. So you see the two stitches there, you have one and two. So you want to do the next triple crochet in that first stitch that you skipped. So we're going to go in there and do your basic triple crochet. Okay, as you can see, I got my yarn kind of caught. So I had to rip out that second one and let's try again. There's, okay. And then you do a triple crochet and there you go. So it makes like a little crisscross. So that's one of the stitches that they're using in this block. I'll go ahead and make another one. So if you want to see it again, so you do a triple crochet, you first skip two stitches, triple crochet, chain one, and then do another triple crochet on the first stitch that you skipped. And there you go. And the weight of this yarn that came in the April 2021 subscription box is a DK weight yarn. And the hook that I'm using is a size E. And I wanted to share that with you. And then last month they had that cute little flower stitch marker. So I attached it to the right side of my work. So there you go. All right, in the next segment, we'll go ahead and open up that May subscription box. Now let's do the May Lether Company unboxing for their subscription box. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, and you can say hi to uh, Link. I guess he really enjoys it when I do videos. I think he thinks he's the star. So let's open it up and see what we have. So this month, 
I'm really curious. Let's see where we're traveling to first. So let me find that book. Oh, and we're traveling to Italy this month. I went to Italy once years ago. I visited Rome. And let's look at our beautiful yarn. It's a hand dyed yarn, weight DK. And the colors just match beautifully. You uh, always get a stitch marker in their subscription box. And this month, it's a little gondola. That is so cute. That is the perfect stitch marker for, for Italy. Then they also give you something extra. And this time it's a felt sheep tapestry needle keeper. That's really clever. You do not want to lose your needle, especially in the couch, because I don't think you'll be able to find it again. Or good luck trying to find it. And let's look at the crochet hook. And the subscription I get, I get the deluxe subscription that comes with one skein of yarn and a funfetti crochet hook. And this month it's a size D. Isn't that pretty? It's made out of wood. And I absolutely fell in love using their hooks. They have that ergonomic feel to it in your hand. And I believe the, the tip of their hooks are clover tips. And they always have it match the yarn. Gorgeous colors. I'm really looking forward to uh, making my project with this yarn. So let's take a look in the book and see what projects we have. First thing I wanted to share with you is they do a countdown of their designation squares for 2021. So they show you the progress of the squares that they've made so far. And thankfully I am pretty much caught up with this crochet along. I just have to finish that April one that I shared with you earlier. So the two projects that they're doing this month, they'll do a, uh, a one skein project, which is called a hook jar cozy. And that is for one skein. If you order the two skein, deluxe subscription box, then they will include a two skein project, which is this table runner. And then also in their book, they'll give you the pattern to do the Italy crochet square. So there you go. We traveled to Italy. So, so far this month, if I remember all of them. We've been to Paris, London, Sydney, Italy. I think there was one more, but I can't remember it. So there you go. This is the Lether Company May subscription box. And I've been really happy with their boxes. Their yarn, again, is just amazing. Uh, it just feels really nice in your hands. And this one is 75% 75, 75 merino and 25% nylon. And it's 245 yards. So there you go. Until next month when we find out where we travel to next month. So... I guess Link, he really wanted to uh, hang out with us during this unboxing. 
So I hope he comes and visits us in my next episodes. Thank you for watching. Sharing the fiber arts of crochet with you has been so much fun for me. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you all are doing well. Bye for now, until we meet again.